Hey everybody, you like that beautiful music? Yeah, I'm playing it for you right now. I have a piano here in a triangle. That's not a bullshit lie. How are you all doing? Welcome to my cup of co coffee. Um, the trouble with Earl Grey. Apparently I don't know how to read it all. Let's play. As I entered my humble workplace, I could smell the familiar whiff of farts and coffee beans. Cafe Latte, founded in 1836 by my late grandma, Cecilia. Oh, Cecilia, you're breaking my heart. Somewhere Paul Simon's like, you're ruining my song. Uh, and now encrusted, I mean entrusted to me, not crusty at all. Luckily I inherited her gift for coffee, and my name is not Latte. And my first name, well, that's a name that's been passed down for generations too. My name is... Coffee... I can't do spaces? Seriously? Coffee bitch. Coffee bitch latte, is that right? Yes. I just opened the doors as... Coffee bitch! Oh man. My first customer showed up in distress. Of course she's wearing this dress. What other dress would she wear? <laughs> oh, it's delightful. I really need a coffee. Think you're the coffee bitch. No! I was right. She is the coffee bitch. I smiled at the slightly disheveled looking lady and started grinding on her bean. What? Oh, grinding beans for her espresso. It wasn't what you thought. What's the story today? Oh, that was me, my, my voice. Oh. What's the story today? Oh, you don't want to know. I just asked, you dumb whore. Of course I want to know. I glanced at her and noticed something unusual. I beg your pardon, Lady Grey, but where's your locket? My locket? Her hand moved to her neck as she brushed, blushed with a frown. Did you lose it while whoring yourself in the street, Lady Grey? Oh, well, I'm not sure. My husband. I'm not your husband. Oh, it's a terribly boring and long story. Never mind. She seemed flustered, and I decided not to probe any further. I'm not going to probe you. <laughs> Lay down. <laughs> Coffee and a probing. Better than a coffee enema. The machine had finished pushing hot water through it through the coffee, so I took the cup away and poured some hot foamy milk into it. How did I make it hot and foamy? If I'm a coffee oh sorry. Sometimes you know you have a visual image in your mind. My visual image was I'm the coffee bitch, so I have boobies and like if I was making milk I could like grab my own boobs and shake them and make them frothy and then I was you squeeze them into the coffee, and I was like, oh, that's kind of gross. <laughs> and I had to explain that, so you just didn't wonder why I was like, whoa. And then now that I explained it, you probably think, he's weirder than I thought he was before. Poor Lady Grey. Perhaps some coffee art will cheer her up. Um, alright. What symbol should I draw in her coffee? I could draw a heart, but she might think I'm trying to grind on her bean. A flower. Or a tree. Because uh, it's street madness. Um, we're going to do a heart. A heart's sweet. I drew a heart to remind her of her loved ones. Let's hope her husband didn't, like, beat her now. Lady Grey took the cappuccino and smiled meekly. Thank you! God, you have a voice that could destroy an angel. And with that, she sat down and buried her nose in a novel. Like, literally. Um, I can make conversation, clean the coffee machine, or examine the novel. If she's trying to read, she probably does not want to be bothered, so making conversation would be rude. I'm not going to clean the coffee machine. They don't pay me enough. I might actually own the place, but I still don't get paid enough. So I might as well um, examine the novel. I took a cloth and start polishing the table near Lady Grey in the hope of catching a glimpse. Humility and fairness. A classic. Very romantic. Yeah, that sounds like an exciting book, doesn't it? Humility and fairness? Oh, you've got a bigger part of the cookie than I. Don't worry, I'll share it with you. You're very nice. Oh, no. You're so humble. Oh, and then they make mouth love. I polish the next table. <laughs> just as finished, uh, just as I finished, a new customer came in. Hello. And so the morning rolled into midday. Lady Grey had left after she finished her coffee. I thought little of it until late afternoon when her husband, Earl Grey, dragged himself through my door. Oh, that was cool. How the clock changed to the time of day. Very well done, uh, game maker person. 
The Earl looked utterly defeated. I don't blame him being married to Lady Grey. Granted, he often looked a bit downtrodden, but today he looked more sorry than the poor old dishcloth my mother refuses to throw away. Good heavens, are you all right? He briefly raised a hand. Don't beat me! Oh, ingredient, before letting it drop on my face. It swung pitifully back and forth. So he just stands there, just kind of like, uh... Um, coffee bitch latte? I am quite fine, thank you. Are you quite sure? The Earl made his way to the counter. Uh, it's been a long day. Every day with your wife is a long day, trust me. He looked longingly at the be my bean, at the beans in my coffee grinder. The usual? Yes, please. You know what I like? Is we're like a dealer. Like these people need their caffeine fix. They're addicted. I can make him do anything. I can make him walk the street to earn the coffee bean. Put on these leather chaps and please the men next door, and then you can have an espresso. As I made the Earl an Americano, I tried to make conversation. <laughs> I saw your wife here this morning. She's reading a new book. Earl Grey cast me a somber look. I bet he disapproves of women reading. He's like, that? Education? Soon they're going to want to vote! Oh yes, that's all she does these days. Read romance novels. I understand. You're like, I can't compete with the Fabio type guy on the cover. I'm just... <laughs> a lord with a cape and a some sort of flappy top hat. How can you not can't compete? You're probably like rich, dude. You don't seem too keen. They're, um, they're not to my taste. I don't blame you. They fill a woman's head with idealistic fantasies of what a man should be like. They set unrealistic expectations. They truly do. Women don't have expectations. Well, no, that's not fair. I'm playing a woman. In character, I would disagree. The real me is like, I agree. Women should have low expectations. So if I remember their birthday every 20 years, they're super happy. But fine, I'm going to play the character and disagree. I don't know. Some of them are dreamy. I think most women can tell that real life is different than a novel. I know, because once I tried to make out with my book, and I got paper cuts all over my face. That wouldn't happen with a real guy. Uh, just not my wife, apparently. Oh? Uh, these days it feels like she's disconnect discontented. Keeping the flame alive seems to require superhuman effort, apparently. Oh man, he sighed deeply and shrugged. Anyhow, um, thanks for the coffee. You're welcome, sir. I'm sorry your wife ignores your sexual needs. He sat down to read the newspaper. I felt a storm brewing like a cafeteria of coffee. Is that a cafeteria? I don't know that word. Of coffee forgotten. At closing time, I kept thinking about the greys. You know what? That What I did right there? Any of you, if you go into the sciences or any kind of education, uh, if you're at school... You don't know a word, it's good to point it out like that so everyone sees you're dumb. <laughs> I don't understand what cosign means. Is that when I sign something with someone else for a loan? Sign intentions are like, yes, go away. Something had happened between them, but what? I must have a lot of free time at the coffee shop if I can be like, Hey, what's going on with these people? Night passes. When I approached the shop the next day, a familiar face was waiting by the door. Is it my crack dealer? Oh, it's Maria Darjeeling, a maid who works for the Greys. Good morning, Latte. Her, her, her. Your voice is so sexy, let's make out. Oh. She rested her hand on her hip playfully. You might be a man. Morning, you early today? No, bitch, I just live here. <laughs> my hand rummaged in my pocket, looking for a key to the front door. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. I've come to take away a takeaway order for the Earl's son. Oh, they got a kid? The key turned in the lock and the door swung open. I'll have it ready in a moment. Hmm, I wonder if Maria knows what's going on. What? What? It's not really our business, is it, that someone else is having marital problems? I mean, I don't think we really need to ask everybody what the hell's going on. Wait, I turned to the express machine and waited for it to heat up? Oh, baby, I'm going to heat you up. Mm, let's get under that dress. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm a lady. Oh, let's rub our beans together and make coffee. That's very inappropriate. I hope you're not a child and watching. If you are, we're talking about human beings and how human beings love each other. <laughs> 
uh, have the gray <laughs> just a second I need a moment. <laughs> have the gray seemed any different to you lately? Mm, I guess they're going through a bit of a rough patch. Suddenly her face lit up. What that makes you happy? It makes you happy that their marriage is having troubles? Wow. Oh, you know, you'd be perfect. Perfect for what? I don't have a threesome of these old people. She pouted at me. Why, well, mediation, of course. What? What the, what the heck? What? You're a weird maid. I'm not, I'm not sure I follow. And apparently, I accidentally went to the save menu because... There's two buttons I can hit. I can hit the less left mouse button to advance, or the right mouse button to go into the um, save menu. It shouldn't be that difficult to play a game. There's two buttons. All you have to do is hit the one. I'm like, I don't know. I hit the wrong one. Lord Grey asked me to find someone who could help. I can't think of anyone better than you. Mm. Wow. Lord Grey is just like, maid, could you? Yeah, well, of course I'm going to help. Otherwise, there's no story. Um, I hope in any way I can. I'd be happy to, even. Wonderful. I shall arrange for the Grace to pay a visit this afternoon. What, I can't even go to their mansion? I look forward to it. Things usually quiet down after two. I, I, I don't even know what to say there. So basically, Coffee Bitch Latte is like, well, I get really bored around two. Sure, I'll fuck with someone's marriage. Maybe I can fix it. The maid picked up the takeaway coffee, winked at me, and left. Come back, sexy maid. I've got a mess you can clean. Really, the back room's a mess. I don't want to take care of it. A while later. Just after the lunch rush, Darjeeling ushered in the greys, both of whom seemed to be somewhat reluctant. I tried to reassure them with a smile, but it had very little effect. I don't blame them. I'd be nervous, too. I mean, I'm not into coffee, but if I had a coffee or a tea spot or a bar I liked, and you had, like, a regular bartender, whatever, shopkeep, I don't know if you want to go to them for marriage counseling. Twofold, because number one, they probably don't know a hell of a lot about it. But number two, because if they did, they, that would be their job, wouldn't it? Wouldn't they be a counselor and make a, hopefully decent money? Or number two, I can't go into the shop without them knowing my embarrassing secrets. You dress like a unicorn to get a boner. It's not true. It's not true. If I want to do, if I want to get to the bottom of this, I'm going to have to help them feel more relaxed. Um... All of these have caffeine in them. All, aren't all of these going to make them more excited? Double espresso is not going to make them more relaxed. I've never had a... Well, I'll give them some chamomile tea. How about a cup of tea? Yes, please. Imagine he said it at the same time. Yes, please. Because I can't do two voices at once. The couple looked slightly shocked as they said the exact same words in unison. Huh. Come on, what? What are you mad at him for? He just wanted some tea, too. Lady Grey adjusted the bow on her neck with a stiff, with a sniff, and walked to the other end of the room. Dude, you've got some big problems. If you guys both order the, or say yes to the same thing, and she's mad at you. There's a lot of shit she's mad at you for. You'd be like, "What do you mean?" You'd be like, three years ago, did you ask to go out with the friends, your guy friends, when you had plans with her?" Yeah, she said it would be fine. It wasn't fine. She never forgot. She'll never forget. Earl Grey, meanwhile, made himself comfortable in an armchair near the door. Both of them picked up something to read in an almost completely, uh, in an almost complete, uh, s s synchronized way. I don't know how you pronounce synchrony. It's most likely that the Earl, his newspaper, the lady, her novel. That's novel. I was so interested in the pair that I barely noticed Miss Darjeeling joining me at the counter. I can help serve the other customers to buy you some time, if you like. This is a whole plot to steal my espresso machine. Uh, uh, do I accept? All right, go ahead. That'd be great, thanks. I hope she doesn't rob me. Well, everyone, oh, with everyone in position, I was ready to get to the bottom of the matter. All right, everybody, let's get into this. We're going to fix the marriage. First, I needed to find out what was going on. Only then would I be able to find an answer to, well, whatever it was. I glanced at the clock. It was ten past two. Did you just move clock? Um, it's not ten past two. It's five after two. That's not ten. Ten past two would be right there. I know my times. So Only then would I be able to find an answer to, well, whatever it was. 
I glanced at the clock. It was ten past two. I had to figure out what was going on before I closed at 5.30. Who should I speak to? Hmm. Oh. Um. Uh, let's talk to Jarlene. Jarjeline. She's going to know things, I'm sure. Miss Jarjeline seemed pretty relaxed. Um. I'm not going to talk. Uh, fine, we're going to talk to her about love. So have you accepted any courtship? Whoa! What? No! I meant, like, the love between these people. I'm not trying to hit on her. I mean, she's probably got a sexy fire patch, if you know what I mean. Hmm, what do you like to know? <laughs> oh, I can't imagine making out to you with that voice. She blew me a kiss. Oh, she's an easy maid. My type. Um... Uh, let's talk to her about herself. Tell me a bit about yourself. I am the worst marriage counselor coffee lady ever. I want to help you, but right now I'm going to hit on your maid. <laughs> she winked at me. Oh, scandalous. I bet you'd like to know all kinds of things. Uh, well, um, yes. Ah, <laughs> don't worry, I won't bite. She gave me a dazzling smile. I gained the knowledge about maid Jillian. The maid seems a bit more relaxed. Now can I ask her about love? I couldn't think of anything new to ask. Alright, let's make some small talk. So, uh, so what's happening at the Grey household? The cook burned a chicken the other day and it was made to be a feast. Worst feast ever. Great. We were so gutted. You were gutted? How about the chicken? I raised an eyebrow. Gutted for dinner? She turned red. Not literally, of course. The Greys aren't cannibals. Maybe they are. We both burst into laughter. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go talk to L Lady Gray. No, let's go talk to Earl. Lord Gray shifted uncomfortably as I looked in his direction. His fingers were tapping rapidly on his knee. Um, let's ask about the maid. Tell me about your maid, Mister Jar Darjeeling. I don't think I'm helping these people at all. I'm just trying to get laid. Love the girl. Works very hard. What about her personality? She's very uh, exuberant. Does that make you unhappy? Do you like her? Yeah, very much so. Hmm, the Earl blushes a little. Oh my, he's got a thing for the maid. You know, it's, it's funny. My wife has been asking similar questions lately, too. Wait, that's not your voice. You know, it's funny. Sorry. I, I gotta... You know, it's funny. My wife has been asking similar questions lately, too. I wonder if she's up to something. She probably is worried you're having an affair with the maid because she's reading her stupid romance novels. Hmm. Well, let's ask you about love. Love, a difficult topic to talk about out of the blue, especially with the Earl. I hope that made him sufficiently at ease to speak about it. So how long have you been married? The Earl ignored my question. The newspaper is full of news. The newspaper is full of news, don't you know? Apparently not the news of how long you've been married. How was that such a secret, you asshole? I think I might have to chat about something easier first. Alright, let's talk about small talk. So, um, like, nice weather we're having, right? Yes, I suppose it is. Makes a change from all the rain we've been having lately. I like all the weather. Each has its own type of charm. I'm a weather slut. I'm a weather slut. I like it all. When it rains, it makes me wet. When it's sunny, well, I don't know. I get ruddy. That's gross. Milky... Milky uh, white winters, caramel autumns, herbal tea summers. There I cracked a smile. Now I can ask the bastard about love. Best to leave that topic alone for now. Fine, let's go talk to the lady. Lady Grey kept tugging at the fabric of her dress near her heart. My eyes were drawn to her hand, which was rested on her chest. Gal knowledge game locket. I noticed her locket was still missing. What happened to the damn locket? Well, let's let's make some small talk, first of all. You are in a lovely hat today. Doesn't make your head look fat. Oh, why, thank you. So nice to receive a compliment from someone. Oh, my God, woman, get over it already. Ugh. She's probably just like, my husband doesn't notice me enough. I don't know. Talk to him about it. You got a mouth, use it. It's not easy, you know, to select a hat that suits. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, first world problems there, lady. Someone's starving in some godforsaken world or country. There's some other country where there's a civil war, and you're like, Oh, it's so fucking hard to pick a hat to wear. 
I work in a coffee shop all day! I'm afraid I'm not very knowledgeable in the sitting on your ass and picking a hat department. Oh well, if you need any help shopping, I'd be more than happy to assist. I shall keep that in mind. Um, let's ask about the maid. So what do you think of Miss Darjeeling? Lady Grey looks uncomfortable. Why do you ask? Oh, I get the voice. Why do you ask? Oh, just out of curiosity. She sighed deeply. Ah! She sighs weirdly. Well! She sighed again. Ah! I suppose she's very young and coquettish. So I've noticed. If I'm honest, I'm not sure she's the right fit for our household. I see what you're saying. But seeing as I have no power to choose our staff, we're stuck for her for better or worse. You're just jealous. You're just jealous. Well, I, I think we more or less have a concept of what's going on. Somehow the lady lost her locket, hopefully not having an affair. Maybe she had an affair with Miss Darjeeling. I doubt it, though. Sounds like Mrs. Lady Grey is just jealous that she doesn't get as much attention as she wants from her husband, and her husband wants attention from her, but neither of them know how to communicate. And the husband thinks the maid's hot. Well, I don't blame her. Him. Whatever words. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll be back next time with more My Cup of Coffee as we try and save a marriage or steal the maid for ourselves. I'm not sure which.